And you know, let me turn this around on you because I want to go back to the past. Let's go back to the very, very beginning of, of your career. So I think I read a Wikipedia article on you, and I wonder if it's correct or not. But you said I you Wikipedia? were. I didn't know that. Sure. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff out for you out there, man. <laughs> but uh, before you were in, uh, uh, in the porn industry or adult star, right? You were the S, you were escort first, right? Or what's the proper term? I don't want to say anything that offends you. I was going to say jiggle. Yeah, I mean, it's probably like, the right it's word. It's an escort, escort high class <laughs> male companion is the way you'd like you brand yourself. Okay. But basically, yeah, but basically like rich, but like six figure plus business women mm-hmm. would come, would come to me, uh, you know, mid 30, mid to late thirties. They'd come to me looking for like a, a dinner, a dinner date. And then, you know, maybe something a bit more intimate uh, mm-hmm. after, after the dinner date in the hotel room. That's basically the way things would, would play out. How did you get there? How did that start? Well, it's in, a, in Australia, it's decriminalized, so you can actually advertise. Like, there's forums and oh, things. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Where you, can, where you can advertise that in Australia. So I, I only ever did that in Australia mm-hmm. um, because, of the, because of the legality of it. Yeah, and I basically, I was... Oh, so I was the way that started. I was in the swingers scene. Actually, I was in the swingers scene in Australia as a single guy. I would get invited to parties and things uh, by by other women. Mm-hmm. And I'll, and in that scene, there's a lot, a lot of crossover and a lot of women in that scene because they have a high sex drive. They would also be escorts, and they would mm-hmm. tell me, "Hey, you should give this. You should try this. You'd be pretty good at it. You should try this. You'd be pretty good at it." And I heard that a few times, and I was like, "You know what?" Stuff it. Let's try it. And I was in really good shape. I took some great, took some, took some good photos. I knew how to dress well in a suit. Put all that together. Started advertising, and then yeah, started getting bookings. And I was like, no way. Never thought like, never thought in a million years that 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 because the, 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 what's the dynamic that everyone understands of men and women? It's like okay, the men pay. The men is the financial, you know, yeah, source. Red and winner. the woman is the, is the sexual source, right? Yeah. And to have that dynamic flipped completely, <laughs> uh, it can be. It's quite eye opening. It was very eye opening for you know, especially with the demographic of women that I was you know encountering, which is women in their mid to late thirties, six figure plus like career women. Mm-hmm. You, you realize, oh, they're, they're missing intimacy a lot. Mm-hmm. Literally, the, the the highlight of the evening for them was wasn't necessarily even the sex. Although, like if, you, if my job was to make that sex like a connection and passionate and make her feel beautiful again, mm-hmm. but if if the date went really really well it was always because during the the dinner component i'm just giving her my undivided attention and i'm being genuinely curious about her and her life okay because she doesn't have that anymore because she's you know let's say she's past her prime or whatever mm-hmm. or at least, or maybe she's the kind of men that she wants to be with are not interested in her they're interested in the younger woman mm-hmm. and so she no longer has a guy who is giving her that kind of attention uh, and is genuinely curious about her the way they were five, ten years ago. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I have to ask this, man, because one thing I noticed, again, I'm not comparing my life to you in any way, shape, or form, but again, being married 16 years and going out having fun, I needed to be attracted to them. There had to be some chemistry for me to perform. Not that I couldn't, but for me to really enjoy it, I, that, that spark and the attraction needed to be there. So as a professional, like in, in this industry, at that point – if you weren't attracted to them, how did you fake it? How did you turn it on? Did, did it ever happen? I'm thinking about that Deuce Bigelow movie that came out in the late nineties, like a, a totally unattractive woman to page you like, well, fuck, here we go. I have to do my job. So <laughs> you like, you have to have the ability to find something beautiful about any woman. Oh, good point. And that's, that's kind of, and, that, and that's what I noticed when I, when I started meeting other dudes who were, who were, you know, in, in, in the pornographic industry or who were in the escorting game. Mm-hmm. That's one thing we all had in common. Every guy in, the, in, in those industries, they have the ability to find something beautiful about any woman. You put any woman, basically any woman in front of them, and they'll find something. And they will, it'll be like a laser. They'll just laser-like focus in on that one thing, mm-hmm. and that will allow them to stay present and to, to stay aroused and to stay in the moment and, and enjoy themselves. And enjoy mm-hmm. themselves enough to make sure that she's enjoying herself. Of course, you're right. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, um, there, there was like, there was like, there was one occasion where there was yeah it was a yeah. bit too much if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but apart from that apart from that I'm pre- i was pretty consistent it's, it's my secret superpower i guess you could say yeah is uh yeah i'll find something i'll i'll find something about beautiful about that woman yeah that makes perfect sense uh like the eyes or something like that or her yeah. smile something like that focus on the eyes and, and you know what a lot of, a lot of the time it come it, it can be it's it's that a lot of the time it's just this it's the smile 
a lot yes. of times. You can, yes. you can get a woman to genuinely smile. I don't think I don't think there's a woman on this planet who doesn't look beautiful when she smiles. I agree. 